Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Um, in the last episode, Amiss, Mister, and our comrades over here, uh, they've been fighting orcs. And they've also fought some orcs here, and a new enemy is called Undead Pirates, which are kind of weird because um, it's a little funny to see an undead skeleton wearing shorts, a vest, and a pirate hat, but with a magician's staff. It's just... Imagery-wise, something just doesn't click. Um, anyway, so I was about to proceed downwards. Uh, we did find a locked door over here, but... Oh! Did I pick that chest? Oh my. You know what? You. Um, haste and winged feet. Come on. Tap tap. Run over there. Okay, I did pick it up. Okay, never mind. Go back. I was like, hey, there was a chest. Did I forget about it or nah? Ooh, I made it. Okay, good, fantastic. Uh, anyway, so um, I know there should be one of those oil thingies. Somewhere here. There I go. One of those oil traps. Oh, and look at here. Yeah, I know, he just found that oily trap, but look at that thing over there. Source abomination. You look like a mix between a human crab and a fish, I think. There we go, now he's full, full in color. Yeah. Yeah, human crab and a fish, and maybe ball somewhere. Uh, it's gonna be a great time to start sneaking, methinks. I know there's some loot in here. Which I do want to pick, but... Let's see. Ooh, a tremor grenade. I should probably give one to Jahan. It's a good one because uh, it's an area effect grenade that can also set knockdown, but unfortunately it only has like 60% um, or 50. 60. So that's the only downside of that one. Uh, let me give those to Jahan. And... I know this is a bit glitchy, but nail bomb here. Okay, so I looted those. Uh, this is a little too close to home, detection-wise. I should be careful when sneaking. Yeah, I can see it over here. Barely, but I can see it. Um, she can kind of hit him from there. Oh, I see there's like a little, um, a little line that he cannot detect us from, I think. Over here. Yeah, it worked. Okay, good. Now she has a better vantage point. Uh, let's see. Everyone else, are you sneaking? Yes. Let me get them in position. I should probably do something with the battlefield, like set up like a uh, poison, maybe. Actually, what was your resistances? I think I forgot to check. Oh, great, you're actually weak to poison, finally, but you do heal from water, so uh, no water damage. Everything else seems to be great. Okay, well, except for um, melee weapons. He has some tougher skin. I can potentially pierce him with arrows, with the silver ones, because they should p bypass some armor. Which is good for me. Oh, wait! Uh, mm -hmm. Let me save again. How far can I go? Okay, I can go far enough. Okay. She's good. Shahan, your turn, buddy. We'll get you as close as possible. Okay, good. Now, Madora, you don't have invisibility, so yours is gonna be trickier. 
Oh, with Mister, it's simple enough. I can get him right over there, and he'll be uh, attacking the monster head on. Maybe. My door is a different case. See, she cannot see this part. I guess this is as good as a she can go. Now, Mister, let him get. Wow, three rats! <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> Uh, okay. So let me get him all the way here, and then I'll make sure he goes into his stealth. Cloaked in dusk! Okay, run. Okay, you managed to do that. Great. Frost grenade. Well, I can't really use that on that monster, but eh, it is what it is. That monster. I'm not sure how ranged he is, so we'll have to see. Let me just wait till all the stuff refreshes, and then we'll start the battle. Um, so since he seems to be having equal weakness to everything. Uh, I might have to start maybe with like a grenade so that he gets some damage upon him. We have this thing, Plague Grenade. Has a chance to render everyone in a 5 meter radius deathly ill. But the problem is that I think with disease he can pass on to others. It does lower bodybuilding, bodybuilding and constitution, but I don't know. But there is a Toxic Grenade, that might be a better... A uh, better option. Or use one of those poison cloud arrows. What do you know? Anyway, so I think Mr. Yes, he's refreshed. Or I can maybe start with one of the better attacks, like head vice. We can try and blind him instead. You know what? Sure, why not? What he's blinded, about? it worked. Well, when a crab and a man love each other very much. <laughs> when, a, when a crab and a man love each other very much? What the frick are you talking about? Anyway, head advice was a good uh, good choice, I guess. Now let me just... Uh, wrong one. Um, yeah, good opportunity to set up a poison cloud. And he even exploded! <laughs> but... Oh, he can see the target now. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, he has 66% chance to hit. Why don't we improve that chance, hmm? Eye of the Eagle! Eye of the Eagle, indeed. He's blind, so... Wait. Where did your blindness go? Did you lose it? Ah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I was like, hey, can I trip him from all the way up here, down there? But nah. Does not work like that. I didn't check his bodybuilding, I forgot, but I think he might be susceptible to knockdown. Um, hmm, interesting, I don't see anyone else. Maybe he's gonna summon his friends. You know what? How about- wait, did I explode a door? I think I may have. No matter. Don't hold your breath. He's poisoned again. And I think I'd like to set this, just because it can last for a couple of turns. Seven greatest gliding power. In case he decides to do something to my guy. Now, she's gonna have the fan uh, fantastic time of her life. Let's see. How do I... Uh, what do I do with you? She cannot do fireball. Too much AP, unfortunately. She can do extra poison damage, which I guess is good, because he hates it. And that's one of the strongest attacks I do have. Oath of Desecration. Who needs it? Probably you. I can infuse you with power! Okay, Madora's time to shine. Um, first of all, improve your chances of hitting. Okay, that's uh, not the best, but it's 
good enough. I want to see what he's gonna do, so I guess I should probably shoot him. Oh, silver arrows! I barely use those anyway. Here, negate his armor, would you? My energy cannot be restrained. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, that was a far lesser hit because of the armor. Yes, lower. Oh, it lowers armor. Oh, well, it's good. Okay, so it's a status effect. How does it work? Armor minus 20 for 3 turns. Oh, that's great. And he has a uh, poison damage for several turns. Okay, good for us. Now Jahan, my man. How about slowing him down? It failed. Maybe zapping him instead. I strike from the Yes, it worked. Okay, he's uh, still stunned for one more turn. I want to give her fast track so that in case I need her to move, she'll be good to go. Ah, his status effect really quickly disappears, which sucks. Okay, it failed. Well, whatever. All right, what can I do with you? That won't work on you, but I can curse you to the oblivion. Oh, well, or not. <laughs> okay, I think he's doing his funny damage. Yeah, I thought so, he's gonna summon his crabs. Except they took a lot of poison damage. Uh-oh, he hastened himself. Ah, well, you're poisoned, aren't you? Do you uh, how much do you like explosions or uh, those piercing damage? Fantastic! In your eyes. And I think I'd like to move forward a bit. You, my good sir. I think I want to see how uh, exploding you is gonna be is gonna work out for us. Oh. What? It did not explode the poison cloud? Well, that's not so great. Oh. Hey, can I try a bomb with this guy? <laughs> oh, not really. I didn't give him a firestorm grenade. I should bake some of those. I think you combine oil with an empty bottle and that kind of makes a firestorm grenade. I think. I'm not sure if you need to combine a fuse with it. I'll have to check about it. Oh, this is a little too excessive for those guys. I mean, look at them. They're, they're practically on their deathbed already. Ah, uh, what should I do with them? Hmm. I think I want to destroy the crabs for now. Meet your device. Oh, you got stunned. Well, fantastic. That worked for me. Now you can cause some certain explosions. Why don't you? Burn for me. Or not. Never mind, do not explode poison clouds. Um, thanks for watering us. We feel awesome. <laughs> he seems to be weird. I think it's a good time to do some ricochet. Or not. I guess I'm wrong. Madora cannot quite reach the crab, so she's gonna be shooting this one. He can, on the other hand, reach that one over there. I think I killed most of his minions. Ah, oh, how do I want to proceed with you? Probably also that. And I can probably maybe try to stun you. Lightning crash. Or not. <laughs> I can 
charm you. Why not? You're gonna work for me, buddy. Haha. <laughs> and I can try and... Uh... Uh, yeah, it did not work, unfortunately. Ah, uh, it was a good try. <laughs> he just died after being charmed. This guy's thinking. He's really thinking about it. He can tell what he wants to do. Except think. Are you gonna make your move, buddy, or not? You seem to be uh, really down on your luck. Literally. Practically. Okay, her, her hit chance really gotten worse. Let's improve it by standing here. Oh, not much, really. I can knock you down, maybe. Eh, uh, failed. Sixty-six. Uh, that was a good hit, but I should probably uh, prepare myself for uh, failing. <laughs> Jahan, Jahan, Jahan. Can't really freeze him much. I guess I'll just do regular attack. He doesn't like it anyway. May your blood run black of corruption. There you go, they're done. All of them dead. Yeah. <laughs> Let me uh, reorder stuff and. It's getting confused a little bit. <laughs> ay yeah, yeah. Well, that's pretty much uh, the end of that crab. That crabby person. Um, sorry. That crabby being. Ooh, fire essence. Fantastic. And a lot of identified, uh, unidentified armor. Some cops. Let's see. Cups, bottles, everything will will definitely be beneficial. Okay, one rat is here. Where did the other two go? Let's chat. Why is everyone always fiddling with the packages in the corner? It's not like there's delicious rotten trash inside. Packages in the corner? Which one? <laughs> this one. Careful in there. I wouldn't tangle with the mad wizard within unless you've got some backup. Unless I got some backup? Where did the other rat go? There was three of you. Where did your buddy go? Oh, there he is. Hey, wanna chat? You got almost killed. Oh, Pirate's office. I would have expected to find something rather more exciting inside. With the way this place is rigged, I wouldn't speak so soon. Ah, okay, so this is an office. Hocking crap there, now I'm afraid of anything. And they won't let you charm them either. Beats me what can set their watery hearts ablaze. Probably, uh, lightning. <laughs> that will set their hearts definitely ablaze. Um, I want to explore the office afterwards. I want to check these rooms. There's this one, and then there's this strange one over here. It's definitely, it definitely has traps. But let's see. Let's save. Open it up. Careful, I've spotted a trap. Oh, um, hmm. Maybe you should be the one. Over here. Do you see any more traps? Sir. I guess not. I'll just hope no one steps on those. Okay, I got a piece of ham. <laughs> That's something. Potatoes. Wheat. Wheat. Golden cups. And a bunch of empty bottles. Red healing potion. A pumpkin. Oh, wait. Is that a regular plate? Ah, oh, we'll put it back. I don't need it. Okay, more sacks. 
freezing arrow. Okay, that one is a good one. Um, give it to Medora. I need to spoil Medora more with better arrows. Since, uh, uh, Mister is a bit more skilled than she is at the moment. I guess someone else got here first. Oh, shush. I think I picked up, like, a rabbit's paw. I'm not really sure. Okay, so that was a little room to, uh, to plunder. What about this one? Although I think I'll need to save. I see a... Yeah, there's so many things in here. It's, it's crazy. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Fear me, I am Billigar. I will give you tons of scars. My tricks are known throughout the land. My rhymes rhyme nicely. Understand? <laughs> Billigar. Billigar, okay. Uh... Can you t uh, understand, uh, Billegar? Can you tell me uh, a bit more about yourself? Ha ha! You wish to know of me? I am the best, can't you see? Such tricks, such rhyming! The biggest fan of the t tricking, rhyming, t best Billegar man! So, what is this room? Sad sap! You stepped into my trap! If you move, this room um, explodes! You'll have to stay till you wither away. Your only hope's a secret button, but since moving will kill you, you can't do nothing. Is the button red? Blue? Orange? Will you find it? Will you... Uh, storage? Florange? Uh, yeah, whatever. I am Billigar! Ha 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 And whatever, I am Billigar! <laughs> Um, uh, well, to be honest, uh, you're not quite like the real deal, Belagar, which, by the way, is an actual character from, uh, Divinity, uh, Dragonite Saga, and, um, uh, Flames of Vengeance. There you go. Don't forget, if you move from that spot, things around here will get mighty hot. <laughs> Too bad you can't find my secret switch without moving from, um, where you're standing. Um, what about my companions? <laughs> what about my compadres? <laughs> well, it's easy. I, I know what I need to do. You know what? It's called use the pyramid. <laughs> Who is the wizards inflict chaos and misery? Any dilettante does his craft ill justice. Judge the novice, Medora, not that which he practices. Oh, that's uh, that's one way you can go about it, I guess. It just use a pyramid to be like, boom! This room exploded. And now there's no more traps to set, so whatever. Ooh, light pearl, silver ore. Unidentified dagger, wheat, teleportation scroll, merchant and the apple tree. That's a new one. A bunch of gold, and I think that's about it, really. Instead of finding the hidden switch, I just decided to, ah, whatever, let's set the trap instead. To be honest, it's hard to tell where it is because, well, there's steam everywhere. But yeah, I don't think that guy really thought out his trap. Okay, let's see, I did pick up some stuff. I should probably identify everything. Okay, a crossbow, a ring. What are you? Wait, this is whetstone. A dense, rough stone capable of sharpening dull blades to a fine honed edge. Okay, I don't think I... I didn't really come across around it that much. Hmm, lore mastery. I do need a bit of more lore mastery in a battle, granted. Hmm... Well, the, this ring's better than that one, but you know what? I think I can deal with that for now. Okay, so we have a, a little toothpick. Uh, boots. 
Ooh, good ones too, why not? Lucky charm, she's the one who's picking up stuff all the time anyway. And a set of armor, but not the best armor. And she has a teleportation scroll, lovely. I think, although I think I, hmm, you know what, give it to Mister. Oh, and the book, right, let's see. The Merchant and the Apple Tree. <clears throat> There once lived a malicious and greedy merchant whose heart was filled with one desire only, to make as much money as possible. He decided to marry a very wealthy woman from Ver... Uh, Verdistus. There you go. <laughs> Sorry for the awkward pause in the reading. She was considered ugly by many people and suffered countless cruel comments about her large and bloated face. After the marriage, the merchant did strangle her and bury her body in the garden. Several years passed, and the wealthy merchant lived a carefree life. A mighty apple tree grew on the very spot of her grave, and the apples looked delicious. One day, the merchant went to the tree, plucked an apple, and ate it. Within minutes, the heartless merchant dropped dead. Mages who investigated his death were dumbfounded when they discovered that the apples uh, had magical properties and contained a most rare and deadly poison. Well, karma! Karma gotcha, eh? It is what it is. It is what it is. I'll give this to Jahan for now. Jahan, I got your tree logs. I'm sure you're gonna be very happy about those. Oh, and lockpicks for Mister. How could I forget? Oh, and this is an actual parchment. I think you can actually use it in a crafting. But, um... Since it's for Grutilda, I think I can just, uh, put it here. Um, and more clothes. Or I'll keep the pearl. You can take the whetstone, though. That's about it, really, for now. Oh, and tusks. And wheat. I think I'm gonna s rather sell potatoes too, so... Yeah. Also, let's see, do you wanna try to make s Ah! There's this. Oh, but did I take my grenade stuff? I don't really remember how to combine it to make a grenade. Um... Like that? There! Armored pier Armor piercing grenade. Releases shards that do 44 to 72 piercing damage and that may break armor in a radius of 5 meters. That's good because I can break enemy armor. So I'm gonna put it with that, uh, in that backpack. And let's see... Uh, oh, right, it and a tremor grenade. So yeah, this is about it, really. Oh, right. I can probably grind some teeth, but I really need to get more uh, ways to chop down those logs. It's just that I, I remember it requires a very specific type of axe. There is there is one weapon you can use, but it's hard to find it, really. I do have one branch, so that's something. That's about it, really. Okay, let's split you up. You can go to Medora, you can go to... Mister. That's about it, really. Oh, and I did give him a fire wand at some point. Which deals a lot of damage, but... I think you can manage for now. Alright, so I think my characters are kind of set. So we can go on. Oh, wait. <laughs> I found a nail. Fantastic find, miss. Fantastic find. Okay, so there's a chest. Ooh, more tremor grenades. Um, and there's some kind of a weapon. A, a scimitar or scimitar? Pirate notes. Well, let's Ooh. see. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, lady? Uh, ooh! Well, I got a better wand. Sets chance to, uh, 
sets a chance to blind and it has the spell emulation. For now though, maybe I'll stick with lightning just because a lot of enemies kind of uh, are kind of weak more towards air, I think. Although I'm not really sure. Okay, <clears throat> pirate notes. <clears throat> As soon as that blasted dragon withers away, the treasure will be made once more. <laughs> Terrible pirate voice, by the way. <laughs> Certainly, though, I fear that the bloodstone is having the same effect on those fire-breathing nuisances as it seems to have on the rest of us. If that's the case, they must say the same... Uh, <laughs> Gosh, I... I got tongue-tied. If that's the case, they must be the size of whales by now. Strange, isn't it, that the very thing uh, that made those uh, riches so easy to plunder now makes them impossible to obtain. Ah, the right to, to ride the waves once more, the magnificent infused with power of the bloodstone, made superhuman by its strength. How easily gold and jewels fall from the hands of the rich when faced with the ship full of us. Until the dragons die off on... on Again. <laughs> Gosh. Until the dragons die off or move, I'll keep to my hidden room. Even if a wanderer knew I were hiding beneath his very feet, only the most intrepid would figure out how to open the door. I think he's talking about the big door I saw somewhere. And if one dared to meet me, I'd welcome the opportunity to unleash my wrath upon the fresh soul. Unless he's talking about another door. The only one I know of is the, 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 the door all the way there that, uh, in the beginning. But yeah. Terrible reading, my friends. I'm so sorry. Okay, there's a, a globe on the table. More junk. Is that a junk plate or not? Nah? Unfortunately, it is. There was only a single golden plate to have. And she calls it junk. That crazy woman. I saw a key, Cove Harbor key. Oh, well, there's a way probably to open the door. I mean, I can lockpick for certain, but let's see. Okay, we got some gold. Um, I think this might be the corner of with the packages that the rat mentioned. But I don't see anything of significance in here. Unless it was talking about this one. It's hard to tell, really. Hmm. Okay, the rat's uh, hand is not helping at the moment. I mean, there's a painting of the woman, but... No, I don't see anything, really. Fiddling with the packages ain't working for us. Okay. Okay, let's forget about that. Let's see, what's kind of- what, what is the lock level? Level 5. I forgot what his level is. I think it's low. Uh, 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 wrong one. Lock picking 3, but I think it's with your current equipment. Yeah, um, hmm. Not gonna pass through lockpicking, I guess. Okay, Jahan, how do you fancy teleporting people through? Uh, let's start with Miss, I guess. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Cove Harbor Key. Well, that. Yeah, that would open it. Okay, good. Okay, so we got through it like that. By the way, I think even outside of my playthrough, I think this is the number one room I, I always get oh, stuck no. in. Because the first time I played it and the second time too, I always get stuck in here. Because whatever it is, I'm not finding it. <laughs> it's so well hidden and I'm like, ugh, oh, I'm frustrated. Frustrated too. <laughs> Uh, you should probably heal her. 
I probably should have thought it's still good to be true. <laughs> ay ay ay. Let me guess, her equipment got took a... It took some toll, yeah, a little bit. Her weapon took quite a toll. I'll have to probably visit a merchant anyway at some point. But this is not the way we're supposed to go through, I think. I think there's supposed to be like a hatchway that uh, leads down. But where the frick is I it? Feel better already. Uh, come on. Unless the next thing I do is improve perception of my character, plus make him drink the potion. You know what? Maybe I should. Oh. God damn. Ah, so that's what that did. Are you serious? Now to find out what effect that had. No wonder I got stuck. I didn't even notice it was here. And there's a hatchway. <sighs> Gosh. I feel so stupid now. Okay, there's a hatchway. Okay, maybe I should go first this way. Careful. Now. Whoa! That's a trap. What the hell happened? Ah! Uh, Please assist me, friends! Uh, um, don't die, don't die. On the mend! No! Oh, oh gosh! Ah, uh, look at this! Oh my gosh! She died! I was too freaking slow! Actually, she did heal him, but it wasn't quick enough! Oh no! God damn, my first official death, and it's because of a stupid trap. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Heal her. Let me go resurrect the body. Let me, let me resurrect the guy. I think I'll have to pay a trip to the town because. Ugh, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> Where's my. Oh, there it is. I feel better already! Uh, you, you better feel better already. <laughs> okay, how about you help him? Madora, I think you need to uh, uh, do a first aid on uh, maybe yourself. Oh, I needed that. Actually, do this on yourself. Oh, the oh my gosh, I cannot believe. It's all because I did not notice the goddamn button. It's all because of that. Okay, he's good for now. I don't know about Nadora. She's alright too. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I, got, I better do this thing from now on. Check out with the area effect. Oh, I've missed that crate over there. Uh, uh, that was her lucky uh, thingy? The lucky charm? I guess it was. Okay. Send a charming arrow, Madora, and this one to Mister Ice Wall. Give it to Jahan. Identify that. Well, lucky here, I found a, a strength-based helmet. But oh, maybe it's good for Madora. What is your strength anyway? Oh, she has a good strength. Uh, but she needs perception, so forget about it. <laughs> okay. Well, there's my oil trap. Uh oh. Did I step on something? Oh, there's a mine over there. Now everything is in eternal flame. Whoa! Water rain down. Oh no! I killed the rat. Oh well. I guess I'll never find out what it what it wanted to say. Oh, I feel so bad. Another what? Wait. How did you get? Maybe they were dead to begin with. Oh no, or maybe they were stupid and they walked through the fire? 
Oh, maybe that's what happened. That would make sense. Okay, let's see. Oh, seriously, you didn't get it? God damn. This is so tedious. I feel like I've just had a long bath in a cold lake. I bet it was. I bet it was. Okay, so there's another trap over here. You know what? Mm, I don't know. Maybe I should load because I don't know. I don't know what to do about those guys. They had useful. You know what? Let me try loading it and see if I can maybe save them or something. Ah, oh, okay, they're here. We're <laughs> we're all the way back here. Fantastic! I didn't think I didn't save at all. Ugh. Oh, okay. So that's what Deal that with did. that! Deal with that! that you know, I kind of figured out maybe the easiest way to go through is actually uh, dropping a pyramid. Maybe? If it's possible? No. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, uh, Jahan, um, uh, do your thing. I'm headed for a fall! As always! But man, I didn't expect the rats to freaking die. Oh, wait! But they're already dead! Maybe I should just uh, use a quick autosave instead. No, okay. <laughs> I was like, how far will it bring me back? Really far, apparently. So you are supposed to be dead. Oh! Oh wait, something is weird. Raw meat? You know what? Something is weird about this place. I'm not sure I quite like it. <laughs> okay, open the door. Uh, actually... Um... Close the door. I don't want the other rats to get in here. Ugh, come on, man. Close the door. There you go. Okay, there is one. And I think a poison one can help me find the other, maybe? No. Okay. I think that one is still the same. There and there. There you go. Alright, so what do I do about you? Unless I teleport you away. Let's see. I need a remedy! Okay, that is still the same, so I guess it was bound to happen. Boy. Okay, I think I know I have a plan for how to get through this place. I need I think. that. So for that, I'll have to use um probably Mister. Although she has a poison resistance, but he has Look taste. Out. I see a trap nearby. And he can tell where the traps are. Oh, thank God I'm here. <laughs> Thanks for the knockdown arrowhead. I'm on fire! You cannot heal yourself, though. <laughs> His reaction, like, I'm on fire! <laughs> that was precious, man. <laughs> really precious, but... Okay. Um, I, I really badly want those crates, but... Gotta first 
get through the spark. Oh, can I throw my pyramid all the way down there? First of all, give this to Jahan. Where's your pyramid? It's on you. Well, you can get through that part, but maybe it's better if I run. Okay, run! Careful, I spotted a trap. Okay. Please assist me, friends! Okay. Oh, we got through a little part over here. There's probably more where that from where that came from. Okay. Okay. Oof. Okay, let's save. Oh, poison cloud. Uh, a piece of ham for some damn reason. Dead rats. Nice neighborhood. Oh my god! A pirate boomer! Oh, damn. Yeah, you. <laughs> look at you, kinda look funky. It's, it's easy to explode them. That thing is gonna be problematic. It's, uh, it attacks you, uh, from a distance. I wanted to find, um, there was a way shrine somewhere around here, I remember. I just don't remember exactly where. That damn pirate cove. Oh man, it's all we had the ship. This is gonna be quite a trek, unless I can teleport. Which is gonna be neat. Okay. Can you target from here? You cannot see them. I'm sure you'll be able to find them later. Oh! Well, I know- okay, so I know how to do this. Okay, let me get my troops back. Um, first of all, I need her healed. And then we use the pyramid. Boom. She uses uh On the this. Wind. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was a little dangerous. I probably should have stayed back a bit. I leveled up from it somehow. <laughs> probably from killing all those bombers. It wasn't their smartest decision ever. Sweet relief. Oh wait, not everyone leveled up. He did not level up, everyone else did. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry to hear that, mister. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Uh, level 7 officially. You got two abilities and finally talent! Huh, <laughs> finally. Okay, I can get two extra ability points. Uh, scientist, blacksmith and crafting, far out man, elemental affinity. I think I might want him to be one of those people who might resurrect with full health. I just don't remember what it's called. You're not arrow person, backstabber, nah, bigger and better. Bigger and better gives you one extra attribute point to spend. Uh, I think I'll, I'll be fine. Bully, you're not a bully. Escapist is alright, I, I guess. Glass Cannon gives you four extra recovery points, but your total vitality is decreased. Nah, no thanks. <laughs> oh, there's a... I mean, Jahan is a little bit of a know-it-all anyway, so that won't really make a difference to us. There's a Leech. Light Stepper, but not for you. My Precious. Every time you get hit, your gear has a 50% chance of not losing durability. That might be useful. Uh, there's a stench, then there's walk it off. 
reduces the duration of statuses that have a bodybuilding saving throw by one turn. I wonder if that also means positive statuses as well. Then there is Water Rush, increases your turn action points and maximum action points by 2 when your vitality is below 30. Zombie lets you heal from poison, but blah blah blah. Everything else is not here. Oh. Because there is that, uh, this one. When resurrected, you revive with full health. That is a good one to have. Probably maybe one of the best ones at this point for him. There's also this one too, but um, at the rate I'm progressing, really, you know. Yeah, I, 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 do, I just don't know because uh, th those skills really catch up very quickly. So maybe I should get a morning person. He has one from somewhere. From gear. Let's see, what else? What else? What else? Hmm. Escapist is more uh, good for this guy and Medora. A good one would be to have is the one that lets you to ignore avoid opportunists, but it's good for marksmanships. A leech might be an interesting one, but you don't really see blood all that frequently in this game. You do it in the second one, though. That, that's what I know. <sighs> How do I plan out you? Hmm. Bully boosts non-magical attacks by 50% against opponents with slowed, blah blah, not good for us. You know what, for now, yeah, let's throw one into bodybuilding. With crafts, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm better than good to go. So one in bodybuilding. And I think I got a bit more even than before. Um, which ones did we get about, apart from morning person? Oh, I think that's actually, that's it, it's just morning person. Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. I don't revive all that frequently, but I bet it's gonna happen far more frequently with tougher opponents down the line. And I know of one that's gonna make our life a living hell. Okay, you might be a different story. Oops, wrong button. Um, she only has one. Oh, you did not level up either. Oh, never mind. It's just Madur and Jahan that did. Forget about them. You know. Now, Madur will need all skilled up for sure. It's the ability points, which are these. So she needs those for sure. You definitely could use one in Scoundrel. So that I can start you know, advancing her stuff. Especially with those. And I should probably put one into bow, which will boost her damage, perhaps. Yeah, I should probably do one in bow. Okay, that's- I'm happy with her for now. Let me see where the hell her skill got tagged, over here somewhere. Get rid of them. Uh, where are you? Scoundrel! Become air. It's an adept level, but it's a good one. Only take half of all physical damage dealt to you. And she also now has trip, finally. <laughs> so now she's a bit of a both worlds from all of my characters. Anyways, so a big problem is gonna be that thing over there. totem. It has a whole shit ton of health, but I think we can kill it from here. So let's get the rest of the party, and let me see if I can explode it.
Okay, limited. Target too far. What is that? Fires of hell surround you. Turn back or suffer. Mm. I'm pretty sure that might be <laughs> what's gonna happen here, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna call uh, the end for this episode. My gosh, I feel so- I, I felt frustrated about this part for sure. <laughs> and confused because I'm like, what's with those rats? Did I do something wrong? But no, I think I did something right. I think they were just dead by default. Ratink and, uh, what was your name? Ratten. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!